Are you guys a sight for sore eyes? I just say it's flexible. Oh, oh. Come on, haul him in. Run the tree, got all day. Yeah. Ah. Here's some coffee. Thanks, guys. Oh, I thought I was a goner. Well, Sonny, your troubles are over now. <laughs> You know, I could have sworn that was a girl. <laughs> well, it wasn't Dick Tracy. <laughs> now, what you're doing fine, Sonny, just fine. <laughs> What's that? Well, uh, when we got your SOS, we were right in the middle of our weekly luau. <laughs> Come on, Sonny, join the festivities. To Lara, put on another plate, honey. <laughs> Come on. Chuck, get her underway, buddy. Sit down, sit down there, Sonny. <laughs> Boy, Air Sea Rescue at Midway was never like this. <laughs> What's the beef, Captain? I hear the Air Corps even sent you a commendation for delivering their flyboy. Never mind. I had a devil of a time with this CO. Go and explain that grass skirt his man was wearing. <laughs> Hangover, oh. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> that kid really hung one on, huh? <laughs> Cut it out. Uh, yes, sir. I, I mean, uh, uh, well, uh, it was strictly first aid, sir. We ran out of smelling salts. Oh, <laughs> try and snow me, Mikhail. Now, if I ever again catch you turning Navy property into a, a Mississippi riverboat, <laughs> I'll go straight to the Admiral. Oh, well, Captain, uh, after all the action the men have been in, they need something to... to Negative. Not accepted, Miguel. Now, you remember what I told you. Any more of your stunts, and I will personally see to it that you are transferred to an Arctic Circle Patrol on an ice cutter <laughs> with a faulty heater. Lieutenant Carpenter is here, sir. Gentlemen. All right, Mikhail, that's all. But remember what I said, no more of these seagoing luau's of yours. Anything you say, Captain. <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> oh, hiya, copy. Carpenter, we're pushing the enemy back here. We're pushing them off here. We're pushing them here. Pretty soon we're going to be off this map altogether. Yes, sir. And then we'll be out of these islands of his, and Mikhail won't be indispensable anymore. Aloha. <laughs> well, let's turn to more pleasant matters. Carpenter, are all the necessary preparations being made? Oh, yes, sir. I've given tomorrow night number one priority, sir. It will be dinner for six. Is that right, sir? Correct. There'll be myself, Admiral Reynolds, General Lawrence, and, of course, our three lovely dinner guests. Oh, I'll seat the tall one in the middle next to the Admiral. Oh, I'm sure he'll be most appreciative, sir. I'm sure he will. And appreciative admirals have many ways of showing their appreciation. <laughs> oh, boy, look at that. Oh, all right, all right, all right. There'll be no rude remarks. Now, hey, Skip, could I have another look? Well, just don't strip your gears. I'm reserving the shower for tonight. I know these girls are excellent singers. <laughs> that artillery, they don't even have to hum. <laughs> you men sure got more to fight for than us. Well, don't get yourselves all worked up, fellas, because these dolls are marked look but don't touch. Now, Skip, you trying to tell me that I can't get a date with one of those pigeons? Well, you might, Virgil, honey. When the Japanese Dodgers play in Yankee Stadium. Funny, funny. So just relax, my love star valiants, because the fluff is all wrapped up. After the show, Binghamton has them locked in for a fancy dinner with the brass. Oh, oh boom, boom Doc. Got, go 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 got it. Grover, 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 hold it. Hold it. If you get any ideas, forget them. 
Ideas? Man, this is cataclysmic. Shakespeare will revolve. Edison will oscillate. Come on, oh, bro. Right. Spill, it. Spill, spill it. Spill it. A bag of pearls and Mona Lisa, and he says, spill it. Spill it. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Now, I ask you all, which would any red-blooded American girl prefer? Dinner with some barnacle fogies? No. Nah. Right. Or the most fabulous luau of all times, catered by those gourmetical experts of feasting and fun, Mikhail's men. <laughs> Look, don't get all your hopes all worked up, fellas. Believe me, you're fighting a dead barracuda here. At least have your permission to try, Skipper. Well, it's up to you guys. After all, that's what we're fighting for. Democracy. I thought it was damned. Now, Bell, you haven't been paying attention in orientation class. We discussed democracy last Wednesday. Come on, Bert, give. Let's hear it. Tell you what we're going to do. As soon as it gets dark, we all head for the main warehouse. Fooge, you got to stay. You can't come. You're at the helm, kid. Three cases of peaches, three pineapples, two apple juice, four anchovies, two soy sauce, and two cases of shrimp. <laughs> the Admiral Shrimp. <laughs> That's enough, Carpenter. I don't want to hear anymore. And not a clue, sir. It just disappeared. I don't need any clues. I can smell Mikhail. <laughs> oh, but, sir, aren't you presuming? Yes. But my stomach, which is very reliable, is not. It sings out, McHale. <laughs> oh, this is the end. This is the absolute positive Saturday end. Get him for me. Get him in here. Get him on a board, if necessary, but get him. Aye, aye, sir. And get out the books on court martial. Get out the books on treason. Get out the books on everything. <laughs> Good day, sir. <laughs> Good. Where? This day's the worst. This is the blackest. The rankest. Oh? Mikhail, I don't even know how to say this. Say what, sir? Where's the merchandise? Merchandise? That's right. My special supplies that I've been accumulating for my little dinner party. Maybe you've heard. I've invited Admiral Reynolds and several other guests for dinner. And I would really appreciate it if you would return my goodies. <laughs> Captain, there must be some mistake. All right, Mikhail, that does it. That does it. I'll make this short and sweet. You are finished. You're kaput. And not even the Admiral would try and save you now. You and your bandits went and stole his shrimp cocktail. <laughs> well, believe me, Captain, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. And even if by chance my men did happen to borrow a few items... Borrow! All right, Mikhail, you and your hooligans are confined to your base until further orders. Confinement? And arrest. Oh, but, Captain, I know my men have been looking forward to seeing a big show tonight. Oh, my heart is broken. I hope the poor things don't break out in hives. <laughs> All right, Mikhail. Now, I am personally going to escort you back to your base with a couple of Marine guards, and we are going to pick up the booty. <laughs> We're fading. Need more vanilla. Vanilla? No, this is supposed to be rum. Gotta get a darker. Tinker, go get some soy sauce. Soy sauce. <laughs> go for that. Soy sauce. <laughs> we blow up, maybe yes? <laughs> Keep your fingers out of that stuff. You blow up, maybe yes. What's this fucking pig doing? Last time I looked, he in the pink. Better boy. I go check. Do that. Here I am, your friendly neighborhood rim runner. Uh, <laughs> Oh, that has the same effect on those damsels. Wow! -wee. All right, you men. What was that explosion? What's going on here? Oh, this, sir. Uh, Willie is just brewing up some uh, some tea. After all, no luau will be complete without tea. <laughs> Get hold of a bad leaf. <laughs> Uh, that's some sort of alcoholic beverage. Now, you men gotta remember, this is a naval installation, and there shouldn't be any alcoholic beverages. Flash coming. Looks like the captain's gig. Holy cow, it's Captain Bennington. Hey, get out of here, Fuji. Hurry up, it's Bennington. Hey! <laughs> Well, 
I'm not going to say as you were, because even a blind man can see that you've been up to some mischief. <laughs> Marine, you've got the checklist. Search the grounds. Uh, Gr Gruber, you want to go along with him and oh, show him? Oh, no, that... you don't. I'm not going to have any hanky-panky. <laughs> you men take loot, and that's an order. Mikhail, have your radio man get that. Carpenter, you go with him. All right, you highwaymen. I'm not going to ask who's the cause of all the trouble. Because there's no such thing as a rotten apple in this barrel. The whole barrel is rotten. Now, wait a minute, Captain. You're making a lot of accusations here. What trouble is that you're referring to, sir? You know darn well what trouble. Put your shirt on. What you <laughs> You men raided my warehouse last night, and I'm not budging from here till I recover every last morsel. Oh, beg pardon, sir, but we never even left our base last night. We had our monthly Parcheesi tournament. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right, sir. Uh, yes, sir, the men have just flipped over Parcheesi. <laughs> These bandits playing Parcheesi? Yes, sir. Oh, really? The next thing you'll be telling me is a little red riding hood bit the wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, sir? I think I found one of the stolen items. Ah, uh -huh. my soy sauce. Our cheesy tournament, eh? Huh? <laughs> found a stash in the bushes, sir. Greetings, Tyler sisters. So that's what's behind all this, is it? You bandits are gonna hijack my dinner guests. Those three lovely, sweet, innocent young girls. Well, let me tell you this. I'm gonna say to it personally that each and Captain, every one Captain of Benson, you men... Sir. What do you want? I'm talking. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> but we just received a signal from Comfleet that the plane bringing the Tyler sisters here has been forced down. Engine trouble. Are they in the water? No, sir. They were able to put down on a small island. It seems to be uncharted, sir. But here's their position. They were able to radio it just before the radio conked out. Oh, those poor girls. Uh, Captain, we'll be ready to pull out in 60 seconds. Second, sir. Oh, no, you don't, Miss Hale. You're on restriction. And besides, I wouldn't send these yo-yos of yours out after a lobster pot, let alone three girls. <laughs> sir, I'm afraid you'll have to. Who says I'll have to? Who? 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 The Admiral, sir. He specifically designated McHale. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, Captain. Any time, sir. McHale, I'd rather turn in my sword than give this order. Well, sir, as the gamblers used to say, uh, the wheel is crooked, but it's the only wheel in town. Is that what the gamblers say? Uh, yes, sir. All right, McHale, you go get these girls, but let me tell you this. If one of your men so much as lays a finger on these ladies, I'll have you all in irons. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> You heard the man. Now let's get rolling! Bye-bye, <laughs> Captain. Well, there she is, Chuck. Morabunda. Boy, think of those poor defenseless girls stranded on that island. Hey! Spot anything, Skipper? Anything? Boy, that's everything! <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> you got them all steamed up! Sickening, <laughs> I think one of them smiled at me! Are you all right, happy? She's looking at me! Oh, boy, I got mine! Oh, which one? The one with the mole! Hey, come on, come on! Oh, come, on. All right, come on, come on, you bird dogs! We're going in battle stations! <laughs> I said battle station! <laughs> All right, let's take the beach here. Hello, ladies! McHale's friendly cab company, at your service. Are you girls okay? Oh, we're fine. We're just so hungry. <laughs> They're hungry. <laughs> Hey, uh, Lieutenant Foster, what took you so long to get here? What do you think? We had to pick up the olives for the martinis. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies, and welcome, welcome to the South Pacific. I'm Virgil Edwards. Hi, hi, gals. Uh, I'm Michael the Skipper, and uh, this is my executive officer, uh, Ensign Parker. How are you, Skipper, Ensign? I'm Rita Tyler, and these are my two sisters, Peggy and Lil. Oh, hi. How are you? How are you? Wait a minute. 
<laughs> Where's your manners? <laughs> Are we glad to see you? <laughs> How can we ever thank you, boys? Oh, well, we'll uh, think of something. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> All right, now, man, if you'll help the ladies aboard, we'll be shoving off. Oh, thank goodness. Let's go get Great. our stuff. Oh, gee, Skip, how about a little cooperation? A little one like me. I could see you with my own eyes. Uh, Skipper, as soon as we get back, they're going to put us on restriction. I uh, beg uh, pardon, sure. Skipper, but I think there's something you ought to know about. Oh? Uh, we have engine trouble. <laughs> Haven't we, Tate? Oh? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pop the gasket. Uh, <laughs> you are the engine. <laughs> engine, Skip. Uh, well, um, you go ahead and fix it, but don't take all day. I'm going to fix the engine. The engine. <laughs> Those engines are working perfectly a minute ago. Yeah, well, well, uh, well, that's the way it goes, you know. The fortunes of war. Boy, and Binghamton is expecting us right back. How about to go help? Oh, Moss, you better radio back to the base and tell them we'll be a little delayed. Uh, well, well, that's quick thinking there, Chuck. Yes, sir. Not good, but quick. <laughs> uh, the funny thing, Skip, the radio's on the blink, too. What? Hmm. We've never been in a spot like this before. It looks bad. Yeah. Real bad. Yes, sir. Well, like all good sailors, I guess we'll just have to make the best of it, won't we, man? Yeah! <laughs> well, here we are. Well, uh, uh, I, got, I got some bad news for you, ladies. Uh, our engine and our radio went on the blink, and so we're going to be stuck around here for a while. But don't let that worry you girls, because we're going to take very, very good care of you, aren't we, yeah, boys? Uh, good sure. chance to get acquainted. Man, it sure is hot on this island. All right, all right, now just hold it. Now, you don't really think we're going to fall for that bit. Oh? How corny can you get? Oh, what corny bit were you ladies referring to? Uh-huh. Our engine's out, and we're going to be stuck here for a while. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, that's the fourth time that's happened to us on this trip already. What's wrong with all these engines out here anyway? Well, well, uh, uh well, uh, well, you know how it is. War surplus. <laughs> Fellas, all have the same thing on your mind, and it's definitely not war. Oh? Oh, so you can just forget it. And you better get that waterlogged jalopy of yours fixed. And fast. Come on, girls. I'm not going on any grunion hunt with you, and that's final. <laughs> it's Miss Tyler to you. Hi, I believe this is our dance, fair lady. Get lost, will you? Please. You happen to be talking to the Harvest Moon Ball runner-up, 1939 Bensonhurst Division. <laughs> Forget it. My feet hurt, and this thing will give me a headache. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's really a lovely island, Morabunda. Once you get to know it, why, it has some of the finest coral in the entire South Pacific. Commander McHale, as far as I'm concerned, this island is nothing but a bug-infested snake pit. Oh? So will you please stop bothering me and fix the motor? Oh, uh, well, well, uh, my men are working on it right now. <laughs> uh, Willie! Bring the beer. I think the gals are getting thirsty. <laughs> well... Well, here we go, Skip. Oh. And I brought the pretzels and potato chips. Beer, pretzels, and potato chips. And the Admiral promised us a banquet. Uh -huh. Yes, with shrimp cocktail. Well, now, just don't you worry, because we're going to have some good, cool, refreshing beer. <laughs> oh, hey, Skip, you ruined the pretzels. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Skipper, uh, you never uh, believe this, but I hey, you. What are you fellas doing about that stupid engine? Not so good, dear. You see, the AC generator crossed the wire with the DC generator. And then the oscillator shortened the ground of steel, so I had to go in and frame us the quarters and... <laughs> well, that's how those things happen. What's a ground of steel? A ground of steel? Well, a... <laughs> Sir? <laughs> Oh, a grana steel. Well, a grana steel, he, he framed the, uh... Well, that's how those things happen. Listen, Mikhail, don't you double talk us. Now, if you don't have that engine fixed, I'm gonna scream so loud, Admiral Nimitz is gonna hear me back at Pearl Harbor. Wow. Girls, let's go. <laughs> come on, girls, let's go. What's with them? Just come up for a little smooching. Ah, uh, smooch yourself right back to that boat and get that engine started. But Skip, come on, you heard me. We're gonna get these gals back to Binghamton. He deserves them. <laughs> well, <laughs> I must be losing my mind. 
McHale and his pirates out there with three beautiful girls. What am I running here? They could be in trouble, sir. Trouble? That's the kind of trouble McHale is looking for. <laughs> the Admiral is due here and exactly... Carpenter, I must be slipping. What do you mean, sir? This is my big chance. If McHale has kidnapped those three girls, as I suspect, and I can catch him at it, huh? Not even the Admiral would try and save him then. And I'd be rid of that reprobate forever. <laughs> Carpenter, get me an airplane. Yes, sir. And a net. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> According to the fix we got, this should be the island, sir. Well, it's obvious that they're not here now. But they were. Look at the bear can. Two, three, four. <laughs> Oh, heavens only knows what they've done to those poor girls. <laughs> we better search the rest of the island before it's too late. But, Captain, it's getting so dark. Never and mind. I... How can I go back and face the Admiral with just these? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Miss Tyler. It's a real pleasure. It was our privilege, Admiral. I must say, the whole day has been quite an experience. Uh. <laughs> oh, uh, Admiral Reynolds. <laughs> uh, welcome to uh, Terra Ter Tupa, sir. Welcome, sir. Captain, where have you been? Uh, uh just uh, flying around the island, sir. Just flying around. Mm. Well, it's too bad. You missed a good show. Well... Why, your man, McHale, here saved the day. He brought the girls here safe and sound. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, Admiral, uh, I have an excellent dinner party arranged, including a uh, shrimp cocktail. So if, uh, <laughs> if, if uh, you and your guests like, we can... Uh... Uh, if you don't mind, Captain, uh, my sisters and I have had a very tiring day, and we'd just like to get right back to New Caledonia. Well, needless to say, we'll be very disappointed. However, if this is what you desire, I'll have my personal plane fly you down. Harkness? Yes, sir. We're at the crew and have them ready for takeoff immediately. Uh, sir? Yes, Harkness, what is it? I'm sorry to say, sir, but the number two motor has been idling rough. The crew has broken it down for complete overhaul. We won't be ready to take off for quite some time. Oh, oh no! no. 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 Not again. Yes, sir. Begging your pardon, sir, it won't work. Huh? What won't work? Oh, nothing, nothing at all, sir. I'd uh, like to have your permission to leave, sir, if I may, uh, and have fun, sir. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, uh, good night, ladies. Good night. It's been a real pleasure. <laughs> Another show is coming here next hey. week. Roberta and her old girl. Hey. hey, look at her. Look at her. She must be the percussionist. Oh, I don't care if she can play or not. I like her arrangement. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful music. Together. All right, all right, music lovers. Just a moment. Just a moment. Come here. Do you want some real He-Man red-blooded excitement? Yeah. yeah. Let's choose some sides for volleyball. Volleyball? Ah, <laughs> uh, Virgil Sonny, welcome to Boys Town. 